This is our second video of Bare Metal Node. In this system we've made a few modifications. We still have our Pentium D test computers. However, as we can see inside, there is no longer a hard drive. We have installed Intel Pro 1000 cards in both of these machines, which are gigabit cards that support Pixie booting. And we've also written a driver that supports those cards for Bare Metal Node. We'll go ahead and power this machine up and we'll see just how quickly uh, bare metal node loads. The entire operating system and its customized loader is 16 kilobytes, uh, so it doesn't take too long to get it loaded up. So Pixie starts, loads the file over TFTP, and we now have a machine running bare metal node. So what we'll do now is we will start up the orchestrator. We can just see briefly here that we have another bare metal node machine. We've added some uh, graphical-ish display showing uh, CPU memory and network activity. So we'll start up the orchestrator. and we'll do an initial discover. So we found the two machines, each with two gigs of RAM and detected uh, nothing for the hard drives. We'll use the Prime SMP program that we used in the earlier demo. We'll dispatch that to all nodes. That's completed. We'll set the parameters on node 1. We'll tell it we want one process starting at 3, incrementing by 2, and we'll check all numbers up to 300,000. And we'll go ahead and execute that. So the program is now running on this one bare metal node machine. We're using one process, so only one of the CPU cores is active at the moment. You can see the activity up in the top corner. The CPU is flashing. Uh, this calculation will just take uh, just over a minute on this particular piece of hardware. I've already taken the liberty to verify with Wolfram Alpha exactly how many prime numbers that there are between 1 and 300,000 and we can see that there are 25,997. The orchestrator is currently waiting for the result from the machine. Once the calculation is finished, the node will dispatch the parameters and the program back to the orchestrator. So this should just take a little bit longer and then should be complete. The program will display the result locally as well. So there we have it. Uh, 69 seconds it completed. It found 25,996. We're not looking at the number one in these calculations. Uh, but we know within the orchestrator to add one to that value to get the correct result. So now we will modify the parameters on node 1. And this time we will tell it to use two processes starting at 3, incrementing by 2, searching the same space. And we'll execute that as well. So there we have Prime SMP running with two processes, same other parameters. Uh, this calculation should finish in pretty much exactly half the time since we've just uh, doubled the CPU availability for the program. Now another thing I have here is I've plugged the monitors, the controlling laptop, and the switch into this one power bar here. And I have another power bar which is just plugged into the two computers with this uh, wattage meter to see exactly how much power the system is using. 
So at idle, uh, this machine is now done, the other machine is not running yet. We're drawing about 180 amps just for the two PCs on their own. So that has completed, we've gotten the same result. We see the same result in there, completed in 35 seconds. Now what we'll do is we'll distribute the workload between both of the machines. So again, two processes locally here, starting at three, incrementing by four, same space, and parameters on two, two processes starting at five, incrementing by four, and the same space. And we'll do an execute all on that. So now this node is running, the CPUs are active, this node is running as well, and we're now drawing about 260 watts uh, at full load. When there is no program running on bare metal node, each of the machines are effectively in a halted state, so power usage is at a bare minimum. So we're back to 180 watts now, these machines have finished. We can see we found some of the results on this, completed in 17 seconds. Uh, this one, this machine is a little bit faster. It was looking at different numbers. It completed in 16 seconds, again, half the result. And we can see here that the compiled result has been received and the total elapsed time was only 17 seconds. So we can see that performance increases uh, at the same rate as which you add CPU resources. That is all for now. Thank you for watching.